Good morning. Welcome to uh, Encouraging Words from the Coast again. This is Pastor Greg from Lewis Presbyterian Church. And as you, some of you know, I'm standing in the hallway that goes into the church, the, the glass-lit area that is so beautiful and, and sunlit. And in, in my background is, is our cemetery. And uh, we, we're in an old church that's been around here since 1692. And the old way of, of, of laying people to rest was right next to the church house. And I love that because it reminds us of all the faithful who have gone before us, who are honoring, who have honored the Lord and gone on and received their reward. And I want to share with you just a just a, a special verse that has meant a lot to me over the years, Psalm 116, 15. And it says this, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. I love that verse because it, it says that all those who have honored the Lord and served him and have been faithful to him are precious in their, his sight. And when they pass on to be with him, uh, that, that's um, a very meaningful thing to the Lord. And, and he loves those who've honored him and he loves bringing them back into his presence. As I walk into the church every day, I look out at the cemetery and, and I'm reminded of that verse in the New Testament that says, since we are surrounded by, by such a cloud of witnesses that we should press on. And as I walk in, I, I, I look out at uh, the tombstones and our, our, uh, the place where we store the ashes, and I think of, wow, um, there's our cloud of witnesses. There's the, 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 the group of people who served so faithfully over the years. And it's an encouragement to me to continue on serving the Lord and being faithful to Him. You know, as you spend your time this week uh, with, with everything that's going on in our culture, one thing we're reminded of is our own mortality. And I think, uh, you know, as we consider those who've gone before us and we consider the, own, the, the, the brevity of our own life, I think one of the things that we have to ask ourselves as believers is how can we make every day count? For the Lord. And I think the way that we make every day count is by beginning our day by looking to God's word, by praying and, and asking God the question, God, what do you want me to do today? How do you want me to serve you today? How can, how can I minister for you to the people that you've placed in my life? And so I think, you know, uh, in, in living every day and in the context that we're in right now, it's to, to wake up and say, God, what's in store for me? And reveal to me what you want me to do. So that, that's my devotion for today. And, and um, when you get back to church, as you walk in past the cemetery, I, I hope it doesn't just fill you with sadness only, but it also encourages you that many have gone before you for the last 300 years who have faithfully served the Lord, faithfully honored him, faithfully served his church. And now it's your turn as well. Let's pray. God, thank you for the, the witness of those who have come before us. Lord, may we uh, continue to hold the standard, continue to be faithful to you, and continue to be faithful to your word as we serve in your church. In Jesus' name, amen.